Good morning and welcome to Searching Through Scripture. I'm Father Terry here at St. David's Anglican Church in Welland, Ontario, and I'm thrilled that you could be with us this morning. I thought today, given that the bishop had announced to us uh, that churches will be reopening in mid-September, that perhaps we should talk about that a little bit. And as I search through uh, the Bible for appropriate uh, verses, I thought that wouldn't it be great if we could look at the book of Revelation. The book of Revelation written at the end of the first century by John is a prophetic book. It's a, bit, a book in which John is speaking to seven churches in and around the area where he was living at the time. And those churches had faced great persecution just because they were Christians. And at the time, John wanted to offer them hope in the future of the church, not to become despondent or upset about the things that were happening, and surely there were some terrible things happening, but to offer them hope and compassion and the possibility and joy of what the future as Christians would hold. And so as we look at the book of Revelation, I'd like us to turn today to chapter 21, verses 1 through 4. And as we read these verses, I want us to consider what not only did it mean to the Christians then, but what does it mean to us as Christians today? You know, over the past number of months, during this pandemic, I've had the opportunity to reach out to many of you to receive your phone calls. And one of the things that I truly notice time and time again is that there is so much anxiety that has built up over time. Anxiety based on being separated from your communities of faith, being separated in some cases from your family, worrying about their health, being separated from your friends, and not being able to engage in worship and expressions of faith in the way that we had, you know, prior to this pandemic. And I wonder as we reconsider coming back and opening our churches, in partaking in the sacraments, the Blessed and Holy Eucharist, I wonder if there are feelings of anxiety and worry that crop up for you. And while that may be true, I also want you to think about for a moment the things that you have missed most and what you expect and are hopeful for as we gather in the future. You see, we all know that as we come back, church is not going to be the same. We all know that the things that we experienced in song and in praise are not going to be here in the same way. And so I wonder, are you a little bit anxious about what the future holds? And then we read, these beautiful words, words of hope from John in chapter 21 of the book of Revelation, starting at verse 1 through 4. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down from heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. You know, one of the blessings that has occurred during this period of 
I guess we can say isolation, is that I've had the opportunity to speak to many, many Christians, many of our parishioners, many friends who are faithful, and many of them had said, whether it's reading the Bible or some good Christian literature or perhaps some books written by theologians or the church fathers, many of them have said, that personally their faith has been strengthened as they have engaged in a relationship with Christ at a very profound and personal level. And now as we gather together in this wonderful church that was given to us through Jesus Christ our Lord, I wonder if as we gather to give thanks that we now are able to open our hearts and reimagine the way in which church will stand perhaps for quite some time to come. So my questions to you this week are as follows. What is it that you have missed most about being with your fellow Christians, brothers and sisters? What is it that you look forward to most as we return as a community of faith and gather once again to participate in the sacraments, to hear the word of God together, and to feel that spiritual love that a community of worshipers can experience when gathered together. Please send me your comments Post them on our Facebook page as we publish this video this week. I really want to know how you feel about returning. Do you have some anxieties and what are you most hopeful for? For as we read the words of the book of Revelation and particularly in this chapter 21, we have this wonderful image this image of a new heaven and a new earth. A new heaven and an earth which is guided by the love and compassion and joy of being a Christian. You know, as a young man uh, worshiping in the Orthodox Church, and I think I've told some of you this in our Bible studies, Oftentimes, you know, serving as a subdeacon, I would have the great opportunity of being in the altar in the sanctuary. And up, uh, you know, at the very top of the dome of the church over uh, the Eucharistic altar, there was a window. And that window for me represents a pic an icon of a window. And that window represented for me God's kingdom coming into our worship space and then pouring God's love and grace out upon all of us who were there. And I wonder, as we once again gather, will we feel that grace and love which is so freely poured upon us by God's presence? I hope that you are as encouraged as I am and as hopeful of what our worship will be like when we gather. It's important that you know that you have been missed greatly and that you are loved greatly and that we as a church of Jesus Christ will welcome you back with open hands and arms and we hope that you will be surrounded by the incredible love of God, of Jesus Christ, and of fellow Christians as we give thanks for our faith each and every week. As I say, may God bless you, keep you safe, and may you truly know how deeply, deeply loved you are. Thanks for joining us again this week.